Here's how you fix the NVivo project error, where NVivo will not open your NVivo project. Before you even open NVivo, open up Windows Explorer, that's the folder icon, and go to C users slash username, your username that is, slash app data slash local slash Microsoft slash Microsoft SQL server data. The folder exists, you just need to make sure you spell everything right and get the slashes in the right. As you're typing it, you can you can actually also use a little drop down in order to navigate a little bit more easily and avoid spelling errors. You want to rename that folder to old at the end. Um, if you right click and rename, if you do two single clicks, not a double click, a single click and then another click, you can easily rename that. After you've got that renamed, go ahead and start up in vivo. In vivo usually takes about a minute to start. And then about a minute to open up the project, but that's the way you'll tell if you were able to successfully solve the problem. So here we've got NVivo opening. Go ahead and click the project. If you get really impatient, of course, you can click it again a couple times. It won't open any faster. But if your screen looks like this, congratulations, NVivo has opened successfully for you, and you're in good shape, and you can start processing it.